We might be more similar to the cane toad than we'd like. New research has confirmed that, like humans, the notorious pest doesn't survive long without water. They're a serious threat to the nation's biodiversity and are exploding in numbers. But new findings show a weakness in the cane toad's plan to invade Australia's drier areas. If we exclude the toads from water, they die very quickly. And basically, we can keep them out of a huge swathe of country, an area almost a million square kilometres, about the size of New South Wales, we could keep them out of. The research by the University of Western Sydney has confirmed that cane toads are using man-made water sources such as dams as a way of surviving in arid lands. By fencing those water sources off, the cane toads die very quickly. We chose um, three dams um, up in the, at the edge of the Tanami Desert and um, within about three days we were able to eradicate the toads from those dams. A trial based on this theory kicked off in the Northern Territory four years ago. Frog Watch, led by the Darwin Lord Mayor Graham Sawyer, has been fencing off areas to prevent the pest accessing water. And it's helped in trying to stop them from conquering yet another jurisdiction. We've used it as part of the Great Toad Muster every year over near the West Australian border to great effect. And it's proven to be the single most significant way that we know of to rapidly remove cane toad populations. Researchers say it's not sustainable to fence off every water source, but are suggesting targeting strategic areas. Louisa Rebgetz, ABC News, Darwin.